chances. But yeah, the the team orgy was random girls chosen every. Okay, I don't know. It, it, I guess my point is that uh, public athletes in our time have to be a little bit careful about their their image. So yes, they are doing those things in back rooms that are paid for to be secret back rooms, and we'll never <laughs> know about it. <laughs> yes. As much of the elite get to do. <laughs> yeah. But it's fucking crazy. Like, people really, really want to participate in this, specifically the women, right? Because these guys are heroes. They fight each other to decide who's going to sleep with one of these guys. They literally lick blood off of their backs. And Verna is like, they do that? And he's like, yeah. I mean, whatever it takes, Verna. <laughs> whatever it takes. You want me to bleed a little bit? I, 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 I can bleed, Verna. You want me to bleed? <laughs> He's like, I got my knife right here. I got that dock rod. No, no, no. Shit. <laughs> Oof. Okay, that was close. Yeah, but Warren doesn't get it anyway. It's fucking crazy because it's fucking crazy. Yeah. Like you and I were saying, we go to a game. It, we're spending time with the family, drink some beer, just enjoy ourselves. These people go to the game because they're like, I'm going to watch him kill a dude and then i'm gonna lick his blood and then fuck that guy over there <laughs> that is a completely different day but i mean if your life is really really shitty and you can't take out your anger or your frustration at how shitty your life is watching somebody else do that to somebody could be cathartic in a way i suppose make you feel something at all mm -hmm. anything but it it, and it is it is funny because Warren, um, what he says is like, hey, I was the first person to solve a prophecy in like 3,000 years or some shit. And it, it is funny. He is the dude at the Palace of the Prophet. He is now the prophet at the Palace of the Prophet. He's the guy the whole castle is named <laughs> after. And, and he can't. And he is not pulling not down any. anything. Yeah. That poor son of a bitch. We, I mean, we know he wants Warna. Warna? <laughs> Warna. Uh, well, that's what the yeah. baby's gonna he, be named. He wants Verna, but still, yeah, I thought it was funny. Just saying, Verna, you're number one. I'm number two. Let's get it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how you're like, Just get it done. <laughs> Let's take care of this fucking thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he is bummed out because women don't throw themselves at him. And Verna says he hasn't seen all the women, but he disagrees. Some women are attracted to power, but like. That's life. Yeah, that's just that's just the way it fucking is. And so it was a weird thing. Verna was like trying to, uh, first of all, obviously, you should be the one that's trying to be like, dude, I'd fuck you. I, I mean, we're not there yet, but like, we know there's stuff here. So if he's hinting about other women not sleeping with him, I mean, you could throw him a bone. Yeah, I think it's a very clear signal when you're like, yeah. I'm not having sex. And she's like, oh, well, you could if you wanted to. He's like, no, I'm not going out into the city. Therefore, I have a lack thereof of any sort of sex life. On purpose. Verna, I'm looking at you. Verna, on purpose. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and then, and then she, just, she just, like... Like, it was so blatant. And then she just, like, placates him and be like, yeah, you know, some women like power because <sighs> they're powerless, and that's just the way it is. I know it wah, wasn't wah. intentional. I don't think it was supposed to be that way, but I felt bad for Warren mm -hmm. right there. Because I'm like, yeah, I've been a single awkward guy before, too. And be like, um, so you want to, do you eat? <laughs> I'm like, what? Get away from me, weirdo. Me, too. Because I feel like they've <laughs> held hands now at this point, too. Like, yeah. they, they may not be, like, macking at each other, but, I mean... There's stuff. There's feels on yeah. both sides, and we know it. So that it just felt weird. Yeah. At the very least, Verna, she's probably... Okay, you know what it is? Verna is getting ready to pray right now, right? Quote, unquote. Mm -hmm. So she's still in her... No, I gotta be... Pious. Like, all on the up and up. I'm the prelate, and I'm out and about in public. Even yeah. though she snuck out, and she's with a man. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So, seemingly desperate to get out of this super awkward conversation with Verna, Warren brings up Jala again. <laughs> mm -hmm. He tells her that the full translation means the game of life, but most people just call it Jala, or the game. And I just wanted to take the opportunity to remind some of you listeners who are perhaps our age, maybe a little <laughs> older, 
that you just lost, Jala. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyways, <laughs> the younger listeners are like, I don't, what? what? You just, you look it up and then you'll lose too. Anyways, we also find out that Alter Rang means Destiny's People or like the Creator's Chosen. It's kind of a loose translation. And the Rang Shada Mountains are the War Fist of the Chosen. Which is cool, okay? And we get that the language was spread all across the world, I think, which is what the point is. Yeah. Of that, uh, that ancient language was all over. But it was weird. Like, she asks, oh, what, Alter Rang? What does that mean? Because I've heard a word that sounds kind of like that before, and this doesn't matter at all. It's dumb. <laughs> it's, I, yeah. No, I follow. Maybe it's not like you're dumb, doing... but I was like, what? Yeah, no, it's not dumb. It's just, I don't know. It's like you're doing your kindergarten level abcs and then the teacher explains that c is also yes in a different language and you're like I, okay okay <laughs> i don't she did ask that's the thing she asked and so he obviously had the answer but yes yeah she did yes terry had her ask that yeah okay i see where you're going. <laughs> yeah. couple extra words is what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah. well well <laughs> anyway that, there's that wisdom we were <laughs> yeah, talking about yeah, earlier yeah there's a reason so the emperor also has his very own jala team go figure and is bringing them to play against ten Muros. if they lose they don't get whipped no they get beheaded which seems like okay good motivation to win right uh yeah yeah but Fuck it ain't right you watch me run but if you're training like an elite team that took you a long time to hand pick so that they were never beaten, it seems pretty counterproductive to kill them all and have to restart whenever they lose. Yeah, I mean, there is that. And I think there's also something to say that the team you're going up against tonight has never lost. Okay, I guess I get that part of it. Like a scare tactic, you know? Yeah. I just, I don't know. I feel like it would be easier to kill, like, the worst player every night. Like, we'll kill one of them. That way I'm not replacing my legit best guy. The whole best team, guy. Yeah, just the worst guy. Yeah, you don't have to retrain a whole team to be like, you're un unbeatable. That's the whole, um, you don't have to outrun the guard dog. You just have to outrun your buddy. Yeah. Theory at yeah. work. No, that would make sense. But at the same time, you, like, you would have to know what you're getting into when you join that team. Like, hey, if you lose even one time, you'll die. Yeah. So I'm out, I guess, is all I'm saying. I'm not interested in that sport at all. Nope, I'm good. Well, that's what's weird. Okay, here in a second, they talk about how this gives people hope. This game does. Uh, so I guess people's hope would be to be the best at Jala because there's other stuff that comes with Just it. Just not on the Emperor's team. Well, I think that he would probably pick the best players from each team. Like, how else would you get the best players ever? You'd probably hand pick the best players whenever you came across them. So, uh, the ultimate goal, I don't know, it would be hard. Like, oh yeah, being on the Emperor's team would be super great, but I don't think I'd want to get that good. The I'd ultimate get, like, goal would be to be mediocre. I want to be semi-pro. <laughs> I don't want to go pro. Right. <laughs> or go pro, just don't be like the all-star player pro. Be like, Just hang on to pro. Yeah, fuck up. Just a little <laughs> bit once in a while. I'd be like, yeah, I'm damn good. And Not enough like, to lose hmm, a whole your lot. Your record but, isn't yeah. perfect. And then in the back of your head, you know that that was on purpose. And then it might have been perfect. Yeah. But you're not going to die. I'm going to take some whips. So that's all I'm going to take. <laughs> Warren also thinks that the game helps keep insurrection at bay. The game gives people hope because anyone can become a paid player, even slaves. It's open to all. You want to play? Come fucking play. More things should be this way, and I think it'd be awesome. I think, like, I know sports are separated into, like, men's teams and women's teams, but I think that there should be a game somewhere to where if it's like, are you good? And get your ass on in here. I think it'd be great if they had professional teams like that made up of, quite plainly, just the best at whatever thing. It doesn't really even matter what yeah. game it is. Technically, the American dream or whatever, you know, you can be a poor person and become a famous football player. Technically. Oh, yeah. 
there's no way you have the same chance as some kid who is rich and doesn't have half your talent because he has more opportunity than you. That's just played out fact. Right. So since everyone is under the Imperial Order now, it also gives them something to band together for that isn't a risk to the Emperor. Like, hey, I'm going to keep all y'all asses distracted for a little while. That'll be super. Yeah, instead of cheering for Michigan as a state, we are cheering for the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't you dare say Ohio oh State, Jade. Oh, God. Okay. No, I'm so, kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's the idea. We're not allowed Keep to distracted. be Michiganders and be proud of being Michigan, but we could be, like, proud of being... <laughs> Proud of being Lions fans and or lose together if we're going to lose together and comfort each other, yeah, which is because what happens if, every time. If two states really <laughs> fucking hate each other, they will go. And yeah. you don't want that. So if it's all focused on the sport, then it's like, we're not starting a war. It's just like a friendly rivalry. Maybe not friendly. I've been to Boston. Anyways, um, but like, yeah, it keeps them out of political action and shit. Yeah, focus all your anger on the other teams of the other districts or wherever. Don't focus your anger on the Emperor, because your life's shit. And Vernus says that people have always played games. Warren says the Emperor is, of course, channeling that. Everyone's focused on Jala and not the quality of their lives, which makes perfect sense. I know people who are dirt poor and are perfectly happy as long as they can just turn on the baseball game and watch that. Yeah. They're not politically active. They don't have any other hobbies. They're like, I like sports. Sports is who I am. I mean, it's easy to do. It's uh, it, it's not a dumb plan, okay? <laughs> no, it's very smart. It just makes all the sports that like modern modern times that we're living in now seem very very fucking shady. I mean, I've always thought that those people are getting okay, granted. They're putting their lives on the line, they're out in the spotlight, whatever, but they get paid a lot of fucking money to play a game. Tons. Uh, I just I would like to think that the sports that people love and spend so much of their passion and time on weren't created by politicians to distract you. Like I know for a fact that's not how football was made. No football was made because people came home from the war. And needed something semi-violent to do, and they created a game. Yes, but and I mean, maybe it's not distraction so much. Like they're they're getting paid so much because they entertain us. They keep us busy. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. That's a whole other podcast. Okay. <laughs> we got one for our new podcast yeah, idea. There we go. We got episode number one. One in the bank. Sports and stuff. Mm. We'll call it sports ball games. I'll have better better thoughts <laughs> i know you will you always do <laughs> so warren goes on to explain that the season has just started and that's why she hasn't seen anything happen until now or maybe it was just a super convenient way to write that in this is why richard never saw it while he was there <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. uh but keeping it seasonal keeps people hungry for it every spring every fall depending on which sport you play I'm going to admit bold-faced right now, I have no idea when hockey starts or stops. None. But that's that's how it goes. It's it goes in cycles. It's winter sport, right? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Ice. Winter. I know. Like Canada. But it's cold <laughs> up there most of the time, I feel like. So it could be in the summer and still know. be on ice. Yeah. No. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going <laughs> to. Somebody let me know if you know. Or I will Google it yeah, later today. Google. So Master Finch told him about the Emperor's team and how they're coming. He had also told him that the four horses have been gone since right after the winter solstice, right? This whole conversation about being old and about sports totally made me forget that they're actually going to do something right now. Yeah, this is the whole point of why they met in the first place. None of what they've talked about up till now uh, had anything to do with it, really. No, not at all. So this, we're talking about the horses, obviously, that disappeared. And they're on their way to the gravedigger. Yep. Who died? Well, I don't know. We already took care of Van and Nathan. So what are the graves for? What are we paying for? Right. And, and Master Finch said that there was four horses taken, right? But Tack was only taken for two of them. 
So that's why Master Finch thinks it's stolen. He doesn't think that they were, like, related. He thinks the 